Okay, we're going to be looking at probability tables and diagrams in this lecture. By the conclusion of this lecture, uh, you're going to be able to compute probabilities using a contingency table. You're also going to be able to put together a contingency table. Um, also, you're going to be able to construct and interpret a tree diagram, a tree probability diagram. Okay. Uh, contingency tables. You have already been using contingency tables in the previous unit. A uh, contingency table is a table used to classify a sample of observations according to two or more identifiable categories. So right here we've got men and women, that's one ca uh, two categories. And then we've got Facebook accounts, zero, one, two, uh, one, or two or more. So this uh, right here is a contingency table uh, based on a sample of 150 adults who were asked uh, their gender and their number of Facebook accounts that they used. Uh, the following table summarizes that result. Okay, so um, we've got Facebook accounts zero. There's lots of ways to interpret this contingency table. There's one Facebook account or two or more Facebook accounts. And of the men that have zero Facebook accounts, there are 20 men who have zero Facebook accounts. There are 40 women who have zero Facebook accounts. There are 40 uh, men who have one Facebook account, 10 men ha who have two or more, 30 women who have one, uh, 10 women who have two or more. And then looking at the total, there is a total of 60 uh, individuals who have zero Facebook accounts, 70 individuals who have one, and 20 individuals who have two or more. So first of all, what is the probability of an individual having, um, what is the probability of an individual having zero Facebook accounts? In order to do that, what you need to do uh, is you need to take um, equals 60 divided by 150, and the probability is 0.4. So you take 60, which is uh, the event or the occurrence, uh, the event of zero um, uh, of individuals having zero Facebook accounts, um, and you divide that by the total, which is 150. So uh, 0.4 is the probability of an individual, based on this sample, is the probability of an individual having zero Facebook accounts. Okay, what is the probability of a man having uh, zero Facebook accounts? And the way that you calculate that is you come over here and you say 20, 20 divided by 70. And what does 20 divided by 70 get you? Let's pull that up really quick. Okay, point equals point 0.2, point 0.2 divided by, or sorry, just 2, 20. Okay, 20 divided by 70. Uh, and that gives you a probability of 0.2857, or you can round that up to 0.29 probability of a man not having any Facebook accounts. Okay, or you say uh, of individuals who have uh, zero Facebook accounts, what is the probability uh, that that individual is a woman? Okay, and so you take 0 0.40 and you divide it by 60, okay, which is um, 0 0.40 divided by 60 is two-thirds, so it's 0 0.66 uh, or 0 0.67 is the probability of among individuals who have zero Facebook accounts that that individual is a woman, okay. So that is a contingency table. You can look at any one. You can look at any one. Well, that was horrible. Any one of the columns or any one of the rows to determine the probability um, of uh, occurrences. Okay. So look any way that you want. Okay. This right here is a tree diagram, and we are going to explore how the tree diagram works. Okay. A tree diagram. Uh, is a visual that is helpful in organizing and calculating probabilities for problems uh, with several stages. Okay, There's going to be oftentimes when you want to determine 
uh, probability, and there's a lot uh, that factors into that probability. Uh, each stage of the problem is represented by a branch of the tree. Uh, you've got to label the branches with the probability. So we look at this uh, contingency table right here, and um, there's a lot of branches uh, to this tree, if you will. Okay, we are looking at um, the number of individuals uh, that are less than 30 years of age, 30 years and up, or 60 years or older, and we are looking at the movies that they watch per month. Uh, zero movies, one to two movies, three, four, five movies, or six or more movies. And so um, we need to break this up. The first thing is, is what is the probability of, uh, you know, an individual watching a movie? Well, uh, the probability of an individual watching a movie um, is the probability, or, or is 500. You take 500, okay, right here. The probability of an individual uh, watching a movie, period. Okay, so 15 plus 50 plus 10 equals 75. Um, and you subtract um, the probability of an individual watching a movie uh, is 500 minus 75, which is 425. And you divide that by 500. Okay, so let's do that in Excel really quick. So we have, I mean, you could just double it and it would be uh, 85, but uh, equals uh, 425 divided by 500. And that gives you 0.85 is the probability of anyone watching a movie, okay? And so I just wanted to show you that really quick as, you know, once again, we were looking at the contingency uh, probability. Um, so this is the probability tree. So first of all, we could have broken them up in two different ways, okay? We could have broken them up, uh, first of all, here in the probability of, uh, you know, zero movies, one to two movies, three, four, or five movies, and then six or more movies. So we could have had four uh, branches, um, but this particular time we broke it up into just three branches. I'm just letting you know we could have. Uh, so four branches or three branches. Uh, and so then we determine the initial probability. So you take the occurrences of uh, what actually happened divided by the total number of occurrences, so there's a total of 130-year-olds uh, divided by the total number of individuals who were observed. And then there were a total of 30 to 60-year-olds. So 30 years or younger was 100 divided by 500. 30 to 60 was um, 225 uh, individuals, so 225 divided by 500. And then 60 or older, there were a total of 175 so the probability of getting a 60-year-old in the survey was 0.35, okay? So uh, of the individuals that were surveyed, um, we have, uh, we, we've got the 60-year-olds uh, the broken up. So we have uh, the probability of a 60-year-old watching zero movies is 10, there was 10, 10 60 year olds who did not watch any movies divided by 175, okay? And so that's this right here, 10 divided by 175, uh, which is 0.6. So the probability of a 60 year old or older watching zero movies is 0 0.06. The probability of a 60 year old watching one to two movies is 75 divided by uh, 175, which gives you a probability of 0.3, okay? And then uh, the probability, uh, once again, you can come right up here and see all the probabilities of occurrences of 1 to 2 movies of a 30 to 60 year old, um, 3 to 4 movies, 3, 4, 5 of a 30 to 60 year old, and you can see all that, okay? So of the... Um, Of the individuals in the survey, if you want to know what is the probability of polling an individual 
uh, among 500 individuals that were polled of uh, a 30 year old or younger who uh, saw zero movies, um, it is uh, 0.03. So you multiply uh, 100 over 500 and you multiply that by uh, 15 divided by 100. So that's the probability of a 30 year old. Um, and then the probability of that 30 year old watching zero movies. Okay. And you multiply the two of those together uh, together to get you the probability of observing a 30 year old who watches zero movies. Okay. Once again, you could do the same with 225 divided by 500 multiplied by 60 over 225. And that gives you the probability of observing a, the probability of observing a, uh, 30 to 60 year old who watches three, four, or five movies. So that is a tree diagram. Uh, once again, you could have done it with uh, one, two, three, and four. And then we could have broken that up into one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, um, and that would have given us the exact same thing. So there's more than one way to do it. Um, I'm just letting you guys know that. Uh, so that is probability trees diagrams, and that is also contingency tables. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to post on the discussion board.